So I put together a list of the biggest takeaways from the new U.S. debt ceiling agreement that still needs to be passed by the Senate. Let's go ahead and start sharing my screen and jump right into it. I really hope that you learned something new. And if you do, please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing. And of course, happy Memorial Day. And thank you to all those that have served. And we appreciate your sacrifice. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So what is in the debt ceiling deal? So addressing the debt ceiling, the agreement would suspend the debt limit through January 1st, 2025. This removes it as a potential issue in the 2024 presidential election. Kind of when asking the question, why was all of this going on? Why was there uh, such an issue in increasing the debt limit? Um, it's because next year, obviously, we have the 2024 presidential election. It doesn't really surprise me that, again, the Republicans are using this time kind of as an opportunity to request their demands to put the market in maybe a specific category or in a specific place that might be more favorable to them and uh, vice versa, right? Same thing for the Democrats. They want to put themselves in a position that's more favorable for the Democrats to be reelected. Makes sense. It's unfortunate that people like you and I are always the one that end up kind of getting the short end of the stick. So cap, so the first thing uh, of this deal is it caps non-defense spending. Under the deal, non-defense spending would remain relatively flat in fiscal 2024 and increase by 1% in fiscal 2025 after certain adjustments to appropriations were made according to a White House official. The second thing is it protects veterans' medical care. Um, the deal would maintain full funding for veterans' health care and would increase support for the PACT act toxic exposure fund by nearly 15 billion dollars for fiscal 2024 according to a white house source now the third takeaway is it expands work requirements so the agreement calls for temporary broadening of work requirements for certain adults receiving food stamps in my opinion when it comes down to this and again just my thought remember republicans really wanted to cut back on type of government aids right so if we are going to continue to provide food stamps when we're deeply in debt they're just going to almost i would say uh, it says broadening of work requirements for certain adults receiving food stamps. So maybe making it a little bit more accessible. Not too sure what um, how it is that you see that, but you guys can let me know down in the comment section. So claw, uh, claw back some COVID-19 relief funds. So pretty much, again, we're in big debt right now. We don't want to be spending more money than we have to. So claw back on some COVID-19 relief funds. The deal would reside $30 billion in unobligated funds from the COVID-19 relief packages that Congress passed to respond to the pandemic, according to the House GOP fact sheet. I don't think that's a bad thing. You guys can let me know uh, in the comment section again kind of uh, cutting back on some expenses definitely makes sense when we're this much in debt, right? So cut internal revenue service funding. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I definitely agree on this one, right? So the agreement would cancel the total fiscal year 2023 staffing funding request that the House GOP says would go for the new IRS agents, according to the fact sheet. I actually haven't heard that many people talk about this. And to me, I think this is a huge takeaway because there's a huge backlash when they said, I think it was like 69,000 or 89,000 thousand new IRS employees were going to be or new jobs were going to be created right it made a lot of people concerned because again they are most likely um, you know just going to be going after people and this kind of just um, brought some concern why so much money is being spent on that uh, and I guess this is a uh, cutback on that. So definitely makes sense. You guys let me know in the comment section if you agree with that. So restart uh, student loan requirements or repayments. Um, so if, if you guys didn't know, especially after the pandemic, a lot of the student payments kind of like when you take out a loan, right, or pause. So under the deal, borrowers would have to begin paying back their student loans at the end of the summer, as the Biden administration has already announced. According to another source familiar with the debt ceiling talks, the pause has been in effect since COVID-19 pandemic began. So again, doesn't really surprise me. Let's go back to paying those bills. You know, uh, we've already made it through COVID. So let's no not pretend that we haven't right so maintain climate and clean energy measures that makes sense the agreement would not make any changes to the inflation reduction act climate and clean energy provisions um 
according to the White House talking points. So, and then the last thing is expedite pipeline in West Virginia. I believe this is for natural gas, right? Yeah, the agreement would also spend, uh, would also speed the creation of the Mountain Valley pipeline, a natural gas pipeline in West Virginia. Um, so again, th those were the biggest takeaways. Um, I know that when it comes down to protecting the veterans, that was a big focus for the Republicans. When it comes down to cap, um, to pretty much put a cap on non-defense spending, to really limit non-defense spending, right? When it comes down to the military, I know Republicans were all for that, but when it comes down to non-military spending, uh, I know that they really wanted to cut back on that. So that's kind of a compromise. Uh, and then the other thing that I think was one of my biggest things is uh, the the pandemic uh, cutback and the cutback on the IRS funding. I think that's one of my biggest takeaways that I'm learning from this. Um, you guys can let me know down in the comment section again. I just wanted to make sure that I keep you guys up to date as I begin to learn more, um, you know, making you guys all aware of that. So make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. And as I begin to learn more about this um, US debt ceiling deal, especially as it goes through Congress and then needs to be voted on and passed by the Senate. Remember, this, this hurdle isn't we're not over this hurdle just yet. It still needs to be passed. It's an agreement between McCarthy and an agreement between Biden. Uh, both Republicans and Democrats still have to vote on this, and it has to pass, uh, get passed through Senate. And if it doesn't, then we go back to square one. Uh, if you guys didn't see, I wanted to show you this very quickly. If you guys didn't see, overall NASDAQ markets were trading higher but have recently pulled on back. Uh, and you can see just a little bit of a decline uh, as we go into Memorial Day. Um, so we're still in the green for the NASDAQ market, but it's kind of cutting back. So if the uh, market were to be open right now, we'd be up about 0.33%, but TQQQ would only be up 1%. And this is after the news of the agreement being put into place. But again, a lot of people think that uh, the U.S. debt deal was already being factored into the market for the past two and a half weeks. Uh, the last thing that I do want to remind you is a uh, friendly reminder for all those that haven't joined LPP yet. You definitely don't have to if you're not ready. Uh, but we did just start for the last week of our GTR giveaway. Every new member that signs up for Learn Plan Profit 2.0 gets 20,000 entries. Right now, we're running our biggest sale. It's a one-time payment, lifetime access. You get to watch me trade live every day. You see my entries, you see my exits, but most importantly, you hear my thought process. This is a one-time payment, lifetime access. And again, our last seven days for the GTR giveaway, I think there's actually six days left. If you haven't entered already and you've wanted to enter the GTR giveaway, but you've also wanted to learn uh, and watch me trade live every morning, then again, Second link in the description down below. It's our biggest sell and also 20,000 entries. We will offer nothing more than this. This is our biggest you know, uh, incentive for the GTR giveaway, 20,000 entries. Um, and again, there's six days, 14 hours and 25 minutes left for that GTR giveaway. We are also running a Memorial Day giveaway for shoptechbuds.com and we're giving away an Infinity G35 uh, and it ends today. So if you wanna learn more about that, that's gonna be the fourth link in the description down below. If you have any questions, please feel free to message me via Discord or via Instagram. My DMs are always open. Everything is linked in the description down below. I do wanna remind you, I never trade for other people there's a bunch of fake accounts out there that pretend to be me that will ask you for money. I never ask for money. All I offer is to watch me trade live every morning. So if you want the ability to watch me trade live, that's the second link in the description down below, or you can pick up apparel. That's all we offer. I offer nothing else. If you ever receive a message of someone pretending to be me or someone pretending to be my team, screenshot it, send it to me, and I'll make sure that we take care of them. So I appreciate your time. Hope that we're into thumbs up. Again, happy Memorial Day, and thank you to all those that have served. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.